back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. This is your girl Amanda Sapp from the Amanda Sapp Show. I'm the new amazing one two point five FM. You do good through good station. I have someone in the studio with me today who is going to assist me with our hot topic segment. We're going to talk about her business, her brand, and all that good stuff. And first, before we go any further, I need to say happy Monday to you. Hey, happy Monday. I got my... Baker, Baker yes. in studio with me. Pew, 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 pew. Ma, I need you to go ahead and pew, pew yourself in. Pew, 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 pew. That's what I'm talking about. All right. right. Come on. You own it today. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you and we thank you. And we got a hot topic segment that I want you to be a part of. It's called Y'all Heard That. Right. When, when, okay. when I say y'all heard, you say what you heard. We're talking about things that are happening inside of the city, outside of the city, and in the world. You want to join me in that? I would love to. All right, bet. All right, so y'all heard that? I'm supposed to say what you heard. What you heard, girl? Look. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, I <laughs> thought you meant the doorbell. No. Oh, the doorbell is. <laughs> Y'all, I'm learning something today. All right. We we in the studio. Oh, I didn't. I, that was just like magic. I was like, I thought you you meant the. Oh, yeah. All right. She's on. She's on the page. She's on the same page as us now, guys. So you're gonna join us in our hot topic segment called Y'all Heard That. Okay. Right? We're gonna try this one more time. When I say Y'all Heard, you say what you heard. Gotcha. All okay. right. Y'all heard that? What you heard? That's what I'm talking about. All right. Kevin Hart's. Laugh out loud to make premiere on Bounce TV. Okay, so I'm excited that's about good. that. I think that's great news. No, it's no, it's really, really good because I have a lot of friends that that actually are on that gonna be on the show. It's, I say friends, friends in my head. Oh, oh okay. people that I've met <laughs> that are gonna be on that, and so I'm really happy it's actually gonna be on like TV, TV. So that's really great. <laughs> I thought you had real live people that you were associated with. I would uh, say okay. I met them Raising in person. Your head, that's good. I met, I met them in person. Yeah. We, we hung out a couple times. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. say they're my friend. Oh, but to I me, yeah, we're yeah. friends. <laughs> okay, well, good. <laughs> Comic, let's see what the people are saying. Comic Kevin Hart is one of the hardest working entertainers in the industry. The Philly native is arguably one of the most popular and successful stand-up acts today, with most of his success coming from the big screen with the box office bo uh, blockbusters. Hart is now turning his attention to the small screen with a new show that will highlight up-and-coming comedians, which I watch um, uh, Laugh Out Loud, LOL is for short, um, through uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. So, and, and he really does have really good comics that are on there. So I hope that this will op actually give them an opportunity to highlight more things of what those comedians are doing. He's always giving a platform. Like Kevin Hart Everybody, always every gives a platform. More than you know. How more can you, you know. be mad at that? You, I mean, unless you just want to be a hater. If you want to be a hater, just go hug yourself and sit down. Mm. All right. Go hug yourself. Uh, Kevin Hart's Laugh Out Loud is set to premiere on Bounce this Monday, May 6th at 9 p.m. Eastern with episodes every Monday night through the summer. I'm excited about that. Yeah, good for him. Good for yes, him, Hart. And everybody on that show. I know, right? All right, Madonna to announce Madam X tour. First of all, Madonna is still touring. How old is Madonna? I don't know. Old enough to keep moving. Obviously. You know, she, she's doing a thing. Sources have confirmed pop legend Madonna will announce details of her upcoming Mad Madam X tour on Monday, May 6th, this morning. Uh, according to page six, Madonna will be playing super small venues with New York stops, possibly including the Beacon Theater and Brooklyn Academy of Music. Are you a Madonna fan? Uh, my barely, Baker? barely. Not anything recent. Anything past like two thousand, I don't know it at all. Okay, but before then, yes. Okay, perfect. I got crazy seeing the building. I know this may be uh, around his range. Are you a Madonna fan? Crazy C. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> What you trying to talk about around my range? What's that supposed to mean? Around your age range, see, I was trying to be polite. Mm -hmm. She's about 50 something, I'm sure. Yeah. I, says, I prefer Janet Jackson over her. I, I, I like Janet Jackson yeah. too. It says there will be premium pricing for the first few rows we hear, but there will also be a lottery for fans to snap up $10 tickets. Wow, $10, $10 tickets to tickets. the show. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I, like, I like Madonna a little bit more now. Yeah, right. For $10, I definitely want to be in the in the drawing for that. Next, comedian Byron and, uh, Allen is a partner in a $9.6 billion sports deal. We in the wrong field, my baby. We are. Sports, we in the wrong field. Comedian, comedian Byron Allen has quietly become one of the most successful entertainment moguls. As CEO of Entertainment Studios, his company owns cable networks such as Automotive, Automotive TV, Cars TV, comedy, comedy TV, and My Destination TV, Pets TV, and Recipe TV. Um, Crazy C, are you aware of this? No, man. No. That's why I he hustles. He can go ahead and put mobile on the yeah. back. He is moving in silence. 
is what he's doing. Yeah. Um, last year, Allen made history by purchasing the Weather Channel. What? Come on, bro. I didn't finish. Last year, Allen made history by purchasing the Weather Channel for $300 million. He has made he history has yet again as Diamond Sports Group, a subsidiary of Sinclair Broadcasting Group, would be purchasing 21 regional sports networks plus Fox College Sports from Walt Disney Corporation and Allen's slated to become an equity and content partner. Allen's offer outbid a collection of high-profile entertainers, athletes led by Ice Cube. We were talking about him. Yeah. Magic Johnson, Will Smith, Dr. Drake, and others. So he bid them out? He bid them out. Wow. Good for him. You got to be in that mindset, though, you know? He had um, $300 million. So he, come on. <laughs> you got to have that. Outside of the mindset, you definitely need the money. Uh, <laughs> and he said, it's a huge opportunity. Allen, who's 58, said in an interview, the networks were put on the block by Disney after they'd agreed to buy a big piece of their former owner, uh, Rupert uh, Murdoch's 21 Century Fox, Inc. He says, I'm a huge fan of Rupert Murdoch, Allen said, and this is some of his best work. That's amazing. Wow. Good for him. Good for him. Last one. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, welcome baby boy. And I'm excited about that. I'm excited about it. Yeah. They just didn't want to let it out. They didn't want to say anything. Um, But definitely Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, uh, better known over the pond as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, are once again creating history with the birth of their first baby. On Monday, May 6th, the royal family welcomed their son. According to a statement issued by Buckingham Palace, Meghan gave birth at 526 a.m. with her mother and Harry by her side. You know her mama going to be there. Oh, yeah. Uh, According to the statement, the newest royal her uh, heir weighed seven pounds three ounces but has yet to be named the proud parents announced via instagram uh they said megan and i had a baby boy a beating du- uh, duke of sussex announced it's been the most amazing experience i could have possibly imagined he said adding how many women does does what they do is beyond comprehension very cool I all right guys i, I think that's pretty cool i was just so happy she came. I've been following her, right? So, yeah. And it's funny because my mom followed um, Princess Diana, right? And so mm-hmm. I'm following her. You know, the history repeats itself, all that good stuff. And I'm just excited to see someone who looks like me in this type of situation. So kudos She's to so Meghan Markle too. and Harry. When we come back, guys, we get an opportunity to talk to my baker. She's going to talk about what she has going on and there may be some questions behind it. I think if, so. If, I think so. Uh, if you want, are interested in what uh, she's saying, if you want to Give your comments. You're welcome to at 832-685-1025. 832-685-1025. We're talking about polygamy, polyamory. polyamory. All, she's going to explain <laughs> the difference. This is your girl, Amanda Sapp from the Amanda Sapp Show. The new amazing 102.5 of them. You do the station. We'll be right back. Thank you. Well, I was trying to find you. And then I looked through it. Oh, it's not the show. It's a page. I found the show. Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on. Um, it's on my personal right now. I, I got and, it already. Yeah, I found that. So and then it's it. gonna be on YouTube right here. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it was YouTube. My, um, my time oh. on Facebook. Oh, okay. Yeah, like my, most majority of my people that like will religiously watch whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't know what it is. They'll be like, I'm watching. I'm watching it. Whatever that Facebook. is. How are you? Thanks for coming. We are talking about all kinds of things today with my baker. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Okay, that's a good, that's a good spot. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Felicia. Larry, how are you? Jason, how are you? Hey, Norris. Vote for you. Yeah, tell them to vote for me, Felicia. I need their votes. I'm um, uh, in uh, Radio Personality of the Year. Oh, oh for, cool. um, Radio Gucci. Oh, okay. How do you, um, how do you, how do you vote? Um... I'm going to give the details on my page. Okay, cool. So you're more than welcome to um, put that information out there for me. Everybody Do me a favor. You take pictures. That's a good sign to have. What's that? No person. Yeah, because they do it every now and again. Because yeah, you, you forget, you know? Mm-hmm. It's a good reminder. Like, oh, not that I planned on it, but now I remember. Mm-hmm. You want him to take it? Yeah, I got the crispy too. <laughs> See, he must know what the crispy too. Is, is that an eye thing? Is that an iPhone thing? Chris, pretend I make that up. But the 10 has oh, okay. like this ridiculous camera. 
Yeah. You know what? The Note 8 is not that bad either. It's not that bad, you know? I used to work for Samsung for a really long time. Did so, you? you know, yeah, I did marketing um, and sales for them for a really long time. So I'm all, I mean, I believe in Samsung, especially the Super AMOLED. Yes, yes. But um, if y'all know I'm worried, I just out. know it's a good phone. It is a good phone. We have to learn every feature about it. There's a lot more features in that we probably even know. They said the Google Pixel has the best phone. They said it's beating Apple. Oh, man. Oh, oh. <laughs> don't wait. Don't, don't catch me. Hold on. Do you have the for me? Good. Hold up. <laughs> Are you catching me? Uh, do I want to catch you? Yeah, that's for you. Could you yeah. Hold it? Could you hold it? Edible, edible CBD arousal oil. Yes. So when like is the man looking on you or something like that? No, you don't need. You don't need nobody for it's for yourself. But if you wanted to allow someone to come seconds. with you, then yes, you could. And you could you know. <laughs> Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you like this sample? Edible CBD arousal mm -hmm. And if you like the sample, well, I can bring another one, but my hat's not going to work. But you, Stand uh, by, you like the you can get it for um, half off. So when people try it, if they like it, I've met them out from the bottom, they like it. All right, okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's, let's talk about the oil first. Okay. And then we can get into it. Back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. This is your girl Amanda Sapp from the Amanda Sapp Show. The new amazing one of 2.5 of them. You do the three good station. Guys, we have somebody in the building who I'm excited about having. We're talking about some things that I think people need to have a clearer understanding yes. about. Because when you came in, when I heard that we were talking about polygamy today, well, I thought that's what I heard. Mm -hmm. So you're going to tell us, that, first of all, again, welcome my baker to the Amanda Sapp show, okay? Thank you, Amanda. You, you go pill pill yourself in one more time if pew, you want. Pew, pew. That's what I'm talking about. Bow. All right, so tell us what the difference is between polygamy and polyam polyamory. Okay, so polygamy would actually be a subset of polyamory. Um, a polygamy is when a male has multiple wives and multiple partners. Um, polyamory is the understanding and acceptance of multiple relationships, the practice of multiple committed relationships. Co wait, that doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. Multiple committed relationships. Yes. Do you have children? I have children. You have multiple children. I have three. Are you committed to being each of their mothers? Yes. Do you love any of them any less? I love them all the same. If you had a fourth, would you love it any less? Just as much. Okay. So love is not a finite thing. If I have multiple relationships, I can have multiple committed relationships and love all of them. It doesn't have to be in the same way or I'm less. I'm kind of stumped, way, see, you know? and we ain't even because, got two minutes into but the interview. You, but you understand your love for your children, though. <laughs> came up with this? That's not a We've been doing this for thousands and thousands. Who is we? Are you in a tribe? Our people, our melanin people. We start, we've been doing this for years and years and years and years and years. This is not new at all. This was done in the Bible. This was done before the Bible existed. It was done before. It will be done forever. It's, this is not new. Bible fiends. I need you to call in. 832-685-1025. 832-685-1025. If you are a Bible how the words that people tell you you are a Bible thumper, Bible fiend, whatever it is. If you know your scripture, don't call here if you don't know. <laughs> but if you know your scripture, I need you to call in at 832-685-1025. We are talking about polyamory, mm -hmm. which is um, the ability, right, to mm -hmm. have multiple committed relationships. Yes. You saying that's what you do? Yes. Hmm. All right. So poly uh, po polygamy yes. is multiple wives for a husband. For a husband, yes. Enlighten us. I need okay, more information. I would, I would be polyandrous. Meaning okay. I practice polyandry, which I have multiple male relationships. Do so they know relationships. about each other? If you, if they don't, then you're cheating. You're just a cheater. So you, everybody has to be aware. It's ethical non-monogamy. You cannot not tell anyone. Then you're just you're just a cheater. It doesn't work that way. How many can you have? As many as you can responsibly keep up with and, and care for and tend to. The same as children. How many can you have? If you got the money to have 40 children, then hey, by means, how you have 40 kids? If you only got the money to have two, uh -huh. you don't care for two, then you don't have two. If you have three and you can't care for them, then you're, that's not very responsible of you. So I feel like however much you can personally okay, responsibly handle. Name? Can the man right, on, who on. you are in a pen, um, polyandrous relationship with can the man have another uh, relationship with another woman? So is that a question for me personally or just in polyandry? I'm just asking in general because I don't know about none of so that. So in general, it's everybody has a different definition. You can have a hierarchical relationship. You can you have, have a what? Hierarchical relationship. Okay. So for instance, I have a husband. And You're married. And I'm married, yes. How long have you been married? Almost five years. Okay, congratulations, oh, I guess. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> um, he's, he's great. So... In a hierarchical one, which is one he'd probably be more happy with anyway, 
he would be like the main kind of like head. how you see the people in Utah like oh this is my first wife and my first wife hasn't but the rest of them you know they still have their own place so that'd be a more hierarchical one but you can also have all the way to the other end um, poly anarchy where it's just whatever goes it's fine we got a call on the line okay uh tony are you there yeah. tony hi this is the amanda sap show uh are you hearing what's going on with my uh baker yes i am this is wow <laughs> Tony, what you called to say? What, what, are you, what are you saying? What are you thinking? What are your thoughts? Well, of course, uh, <clears throat> I studied the Bible. Of course, you know, they had many, many wives in the Bible. That Solomon had, what, uh, almost a thousand mm -hmm. and all of that. But my thing is, my thing is, is that it goes like this. Uh, this new thing where I marry one person and we're committed to a life, that's really, really new. Really, really mm -hmm. new. So you're, you're with my baker. Well, I'm with I'm with nature. It, I mean, that's it's not all in the Bible. Do you agree with her or not? One hundred percent. Okay, you got one. <laughs> I'm trying to call and, and 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 dispute this, but go ahead, Tony, with what you're saying. What I'm saying is, we're getting back to our natural selves and getting away with this uh, new stuff. Whereas uh, marriage is really a contract, where a person thinks they own another person, and you have all of this ownership mentality where this person is mine, I can't be with nobody else, yada, 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 and that's caused a lot of confusion. It's and called, fact, you it's know, called the monogamy. Over 80%. True. But what about monogamy? Exactly. You know where monogamy came well, from? No, I don't. Y'all like to hear a story? Got a story about here. Let, let's see what Tony thinks first, and then we can hear your story. Tony, okay. what about monogamy? <laughs> she said, I don't know about this first. <laughs> well, monogamy, I mean, <clears throat> if to some people it, it can work, but most people it really, really doesn't. You, when you're committed, though, if you're committed to a person, you're committed to that person not because I can't be with another person, but because I love that person. But that don't mean that I can't love somebody else like she was talking about with the family. You can love someone else, but if you really love that first person, you, that love ain't going to go nowhere. It's not going to change. Are you in a polyamorous, I don't know the word, but are you in that type she of relationship? Can't say the word. <laughs> yeah, I'm poly. So it's natural. This is interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, Yoshina. this is new to me. Yoshina. I'm excited. <laughs> what about it, to me? It feels like, and I'm, and again, I, this is new for me. But it feels like a, a serial cheater Ooh, to me. No, 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 no. Am I okay? Okay, you? okay. And I'm you sorry, said yes, that's what I'm definitely. thinking about. You said cheater. That'd be, yes, that'd I'm be saying, unethical. I'm saying cheater, Tony. I'm saying serial cheater. You can only cheater. cheat if you're playing a game. You can only cheat if you're playing a game. And marriage is a game that we shouldn't be playing. I feel that you just have to be ethical about it. If you're a cheater, that means that I've cheated you out of something. If I'm telling you up front and you choose that you're okay with that and we've agreed on that, I'm not cheating you. If I don't tell you and I do something else and you, I go do something and you were not able to do something, you've been cheated out of the opportunity to do what you like. That is cheating. But if we both exactly. agreed and we're both adults and we've agreed, then that's fine. That's just like saying, okay, well, I, I don't, I don't want to sleep in the same room. My husband, we agree we sleep in different rooms. That's not what we do. I sleep in the same bed. But... If I decided that's what I wanted to do, <laughs> and we both agreed on it, is there anything wrong with that? No, that's me and my personal bed in my house. Let me make sure this ain't your husband that's calling. This is not my husband. It's, it's not my husband. My, now, my husband's name is Andrew. He's great. <laughs> and he's probably at work right now. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, Tony, well, um, is there anything else that you want to add to this conversation? Because we get about to go further, because, again, this is new for me. I, I'm, 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 this is unfamiliar territory. Is there anything else that you want to add to this conversation? Or dispel well, any myths? Yeah, one thing, one thing before I go. Dispel is a myth. That's um, what you do. One thing before I go, in the Bible it says, in the resurrection there will be no more marriages, no one given to marriage, and they will be like angels. Think about that. We will. Thank you, Tony, for your information. This is... You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for calling to All the right. Amanda Show. They come in with real scriptures. Because it's... I, I didn't make it up. You, you ready to hear where, where marriage came from yet? We got Marcus Byers on TV and it's the on in here on the right time, Marcus. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I do have an opinion. You want okay, to I want to hear. Here you go. Okay, there we go. Um, so, which one are we talking about, monogamy or polygamy? Um, which, polygamy. Polygamy, right? Not, not, not polygamy. Go polyandry. Po um, mm -hmm. but polyamory. First, I want to know what your take is on monogamy. Um, so monogamy is just being with one person Correct. for the rest of your life, mm -hmm. forever and ever and ever and ever and, and ever. ever. It depends on who's listening, but I'm, I just don't find it as realistic as we try to push in our society. It does happen though. No, that's what you think. You know what oh, he, got, you, so he got the male perspective. You, you, <laughs> he you knows that male perspective. You that, you know, that people are in a monogamous relationship 
but people go do what they want to do. And so I've been to Africa, and because I've been to Africa, and I totally understand uh, who we really are, and we as a people, as human beings, we're mammals. And in Africa, when I was roaming around the safari, I ain't see one lion with one lion. You know what I'm saying? They kind of bounce around a little bit, and I look at ourselves as mammals. So I'm not saying you're supposed to be out here slanging anything, but I do find it hard to believe that you could be with one person your entire life. So are you, what is your take on polyamory? Or he, in his case, he would be, he would be a polygamous. But polygamous. You, he wouldn't have to have, I mean, if you were bisexual, you could just have, he doesn't have multiple relationships. That. That's why I say he didn't have, but I'm saying in theory, he doesn't <laughs> Don't clear that up real quick, man. You know what I'm saying? Go clear that in up. In theory, just because someone is a male does not necessarily mean they have to be a polygamous. That, that, that whole world. Are you okay with that? Uh, I'm not okay with it, but I. Why I, are you I not? Because you just said because, because I don't want my girl having that same mindset. I don't want my woman, the girl that I want to spend. That sounds unfair. Life with. You call it what you want. It's you know what, what it is. I'm not calling <laughs> it. It's fair though, because he knows that. that. He said, let me sit down, because I know I'm not going to go one place. So I think that's very fair well, I, and responsible. I was just going to chime in just a little bit. I see that point. I mean, real talk, I see that point. And I believe everybody have to live their own life. What suits them? Okay, great. Now for me, mm-hmm. that's not that's not my thing. My wife, I've been with my my wife the twenty one years, never cheated on me, never cheated. Now keeping it one hundred, <laughs> keeping it one hundred, not to say that I haven't thought about it. Marcus give a side eye. <laughs> the thoughts, the thoughts for that. Now, know, everybody, they can give a side eye all they want. I've never cheated on my wife. The male, the face now, of the male. That's not to say that I haven't thought about it, but for me. That's where prayer and my following God comes in. God gives me the strength to resist that Do temptation. Do you think that God would allow? I mean, it says it's, it's been done in the Bible. Yeah, it has. But if you follow Solomon's story, mm-hmm. God said, if you do all these things, you're gonna there, these women are going to take your heart away from me. Oh, wait, no, it wait, wasn't, It wasn't, it wasn't that it was illegal. You got to tell the whole story, it wasn't, though. It wasn't illegal. But tell the whole story. What did he but say? He, go he ahead. said the women that have these other gods that he, they want you to, to worship and you building all these different idols. Right, right. For them, he, didn't, he didn't say the women. He said the women you have that have you building other idols that for you to worship instead of me. That's what he said, not the women. Right. But, those but, specific but, types. But, yeah, but the gods that they were worshiping, that's why exactly. he's right. But you got to yeah. tell the whole story. He didn't yeah. say women. Yeah. He said the women yeah, worship another god. Yeah, but it's still a heart Check condition. It's still a heart condition when you want to boil down to the to the to the bottom line. It's True. still a heart condition. You, and you, that's my fear. But go ahead, when, when you when you're as cute as I am. I'm so done, guys. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's difficult. You know what I'm saying? It's difficult to fight them all off with a stick. Wow. And so I know that there's a lot of men going through some of the things that I go through on a daily basis. And some of them not as strong or spiritual as myself and C. You know what I'm saying? Right, brother? Yeah, but it's so funny. It's so funny. It's so funny. It's so funny. Come on, I'll let you wrap it up. But, but, but realistically, yeah, exactly. but, but realistically, again, when I went to, uh, to to South Africa and I was roaming around the safari, it just took me back to nature. It mm-hmm. took me back to who we really are, and we are mammals. Even though we're at the top of the food chain mm-hmm. and we're the the cream king of the the, the the, the jungle yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but we're still mammals. And mammals don't just stick to one mammal, i tell you that. That goes from what I was trying to tell you, the story of how marriage came about, man. It goes from that. So this is what we're going to do. Yeah, but we're not, we're not animals, though. We're man. not. We have a, we we not, we have a high mammals. intellectual ability. We can do things that animals can't do. If y'all knew the story... So that's what we're going to do. I ain't going to go around <laughs> sniffing no girls behind, looking up behind. Like you got to sniff it before you do anything. Come on. No, I ain't going to sniff no girls. <laughs> Real talk. But look, here, yeah, when we... Licking the behind and all and all, man. Come on. And we're okay with that, too. But look, uh, when we come back... <laughs> when we come back, we get an opportunity to talk to my baker about the reason or how marriage came about. Yes. Right? Yes. And this is your girl, Amanda Sapp from the Amanda Sapp Show on the new Amazing 102.5. Okay? We'll be right back. That is funny. They really would have fixed the whole conversation. <laughs> and they, 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 they all be in agreement too. They all don't tell us. Don't tell us. I'm just saying they all. all no, don't say all. You never know. Everybody ain't the same. I'm almost in. I, I feel like majority, majority, majority of men. I think any time a guy can, man, can, can get, man. get uh, multitudes of women. They're agreeing with it. Oh, no, I wouldn't tell you like this. I'm just saying that the thoughts won't be there. Yeah, because yeah, you ain't the man if the thoughts won't be there. But I. I believe that you have the strength, if you want to, to resist that temptation. No, you do. And thus far, it's not impossible. I don't believe you What can makes it impossible that. right now is that we don't have those examples, see? Right. See, you just said your dad did 50 years mm-hmm. without slinging whatever you think, but we don't have none Why of those Why you got to add anything to 
because come on. No, I mean real. that's real because you, you just don't know. That's seven plus years. That's seven plus years. As far as I know, they've never been divorced. Not slain. Hey, just because they never been divorced don't mean nothing. I'm saying. No, no, you're right, but that's that's what I'm saying. Not that you know as, of. Right. And as children, we, you know, people, your parents don't tell you everything. It's not, it's right. not, that's not even something But I know for myself, that you have it, 21 you years, I have My concern is from a spiritual side. Yeah. And I feel like I, I'm i interested in what she's saying. I'm interested. But my thoughts are, will I go to hell if but this is what... The book that you're going out thinking. for, and I'm a Christian too. Mm -hmm. I'm a diehard mm -hmm. Christian, right? Mm -hmm. Believe in God, Jesus, everything. But I also travel the world. So I understand all the different religions all over the world. Mm -hmm. And some books, religious books, say one way. Others say up to you. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's up to you to read and believe whatever it is that you believe. Apply that to your life. It's people on the other side of the world that got more than one wife. They, you think they're going to hell? No, nah, they treat people the way that they God told them to treat people. You know what I'm saying? Or treat people the way that they know that they're supposed to treat people. And I'm not judging them saying that they're going to hell because... They got a few extra Those, those are my thoughts. Yeah, the thing about, about that's, 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 that's how I'm thinking. Would you feel that? Would yeah. you feel that somebody that eats pork is going to hell? Would you think somebody that um, eats the animals going to hell? No, because God <laughs> said God said all sins are way the same. Did he not? All yeah. sins are yeah, the same. Yeah, they are. And if eating pork is a sin, and you eat yeah, pork, the sin is the sin is not going to take you to hell. The hell, if you're a Christian, heaven and hell believes on your salvation. Believe so maybe in Jesus that's Christ. I need to leave with that. But tell us about marriage. But God said every sin that every sin that man does. Out, it's outside of the body that's, that's something different. But when you commit sexual sin, you sin against your own self. So, is that a sexual sin? So Let me find that scripture because I, I study the Bible a lot and I have not found okay. that to be so. I, you know, I, do not, I do feel like I know I what, which scripture that. you might be referring to. I don't feel like it's in the right context. When you read context, the Bible, though. you um, comprehend it. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. Please tell me which one you're talking about because yeah, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get it The church you go to matters because the pastor is going to comprehend and read it. And interpret it different ways. So I think I know which scripture you're speaking about. But see, here's the thing. I believe... So I'm, I don't know, free spirit kind of like, I, I like a lot of people. Oh, yeah. And first of all. No, I mean, <laughs> hey, you said it. You know what I'm saying? Well, she's yeah, not I don't mean it like she's that. She's yeah. free spirit. Come get it. Free. Ah, for free. I mean, she got it for free. Get out of my camera. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand. I understand what you're saying. It's free over here, man. <laughs> but, it, but it's saying that, you know, I don't ever condemn anybody. That's why I say everybody's free to do whatever they please. Yeah. I'm cool with it. I ain't going to say nobody's going to hell. Because no. that ain't, that ain't my place. Free. I ain't got no heaven but there, I mean but nobody is. I believe that you can love more than one person. And if, if uh, most people are, are okay with it, then that's fine. But if they're not okay with it, it's not he's signing the seconds. I don't know, but time. It's, it's time. time. It's not. So. You got any more, <laughs> any more guests coming? Hmm? You got any more guests coming? No, no, no. Okay, cool. No. All right, stand by. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. This is your girl Amanda South from the Amanda South Show. The new amazing 102.5 FM, you do good, do good, stay. Shine. We got my baker in the building, y'all. We're talking about polyamory, polygamy, more than one wife, more than one boyfriend, you know, more than one, so proud. all that kind of stuff. And uh, if you have some thoughts or some, some some insight on the subject, please give us a call back at 832-685-1025. 832-685-1025. We had Tony call in. He's all for you. He's all for what you're doing. And he gave us some insight and, 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 and verse behind what he's saying so that's my thing if you're going to come with this type of information come with come correct so my baker is is telling us if uh, she's going to tell us where marriage came from yes all right it's, so go ahead give it's us a big round of our story but like he was saying before like who was saying i'm so what was your name marcus, marcus bowers, bowers. Marcus bowers. Did I say right? okay, yes. awesome. mm -hmm. like he was saying we did not have marriage in the beginning when we were nomads Everybody would help everybody else. Everybody had children with everybody else. Everybody did everything. We were all one tribe. We had tribes. Um, and as we became non-nomadic and we started settling places and actually having hunters and gatherers and wives that, that I mean, not wives, women that, you know, cooked and made things and all the children. When it came time to, one, live longer, we're living longer, and people were um, kind of retiring and passing things to their children, the men wanted to be sure that things were going to their children. That's where birthright came from. And to be sure that was their child, they construed marriage to say, hey, we are going to be together and these will be our children. That way, the things I work for and things I create, I only want to give to my kid. I don't want to give it to that dude, kid. I, don't want, I want to make sure that I know this is my, my child. And that's where marriage came from. So before we had anything to own or to keep, or everything was communal, there, everybody was communal. It wasn't until we decided, hey, I want to make sure things go to my, my lineage. How did you get into this? I read a lot. 
So how can I ask how old you are? Thirty. You are thirty. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so how and you've been married five years. I've been married five years, but I've been polyam in polyamory about eleven years. Okay. So when you found that this is what you wanted to do, how did you find the right person who was interested in, in, in that same thing? Or is there a club for this? Yeah, uh, there are plenty of clubs, organizations, meetups, groups, all kind of things, or like all kind. And there, there, are, there are black ones, white ones, mixed ones, everything. But um, when I got into it, I didn't even know it was a thing. I, I, it's kind of like saying, hi, what did you learn if you liked me? I have always been polyamorous since the first time people explained, oh, when a woman and a man love each other, they get married and they live forever. And I was like, well, I gotta pick one. Like, and I'm, I'm my parents would call eight. this being fast. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is so. But they that's say, it's not being fast, and, and that's really unfortunate that that they, they would they, say they that. didn't have that that freedom and support and openness to say, as long as you know you are protecting yourself and you are being responsible mm -hmm. and you are sharing with others. And you're an adult, because if you're a child, then go sit down somewhere and go read a book. This but ain't for you. This is not for you. But if you're an adult and you pay your own bills and you're not worried about nobody taking care of you, and you want to be responsible and, and ethical, then that's fine. So I've been doing it before I even knew what polyamory was. It was actually my husband, um, when we were first dating, and said, oh, you're polyamorous. And I was like, that's a word. I just would tell people, you know, I, I like to date you. I think you're cool. I'm also probably going to date this person over here, and I don't plan on getting rid of them. Or I already have this person over here. I like you as well. I don't plan on getting rid of them either. And they meet and talk, and they're fun. They have, you know, we're all good. Everybody is good. We don't well, have. We got the family, huh? Yeah. Swingers party type thing. No, no, uh, no, no. Isn't no. that no. And the that same? Is, no, thing? that is not the same thing at all. Correct. Mm -hmm. Dispel these myths. Yeah, so that's a myth. A swinger party, let's say you go to swimming and they're like, oh, we cool, we vibe, let's, you know, let's have sex, let's do things. No. So in polyamory, in polyamory it is a relationship. Point. You are expected to have a relationship. I expect you to court me as if anyone else would court me. I expect you to call. I expect to go out and have new experience and do new things. I, I'm, I might not ever sleep with you. It ain't got to be sex. It and could just exactly. be a relationship. It's a relationship. So, no, swingers, and no offense to swingers, that's what you do. That's cool, too. You're a consent adult. Swingers have casual sex. People in polyamory don't necessarily have sex at all or a casual sex. A lot of them, for the most part, actually celibate. Let me dispel this rumor real quick. I'm going to put this rule out here. Fellas, if you unemployed <laughs> and you dropping your girl off at work or you live with your girl, don't bring up the word polyamorous relationship mm -hmm. because what I say? you, you might can reasonably out. pay for it. So I just want to throw that out there for Please my, my male That's listeners in any that, that are thinking about, um, you know, going out here and getting it <laughs> uh, with the encouragement of my girl here. Yeah, don't He's do encouraging it. it, definitely. And I found that scripture for you. No judgment okay. zone. No judgment okay. zone. Okay. Just read okay, But ahead. tell us what it comes from. First Corinthians. First Corinthians. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to go. I got to hear. Where, where does I, that come from? First Corinthians 6 and 18. Verse 18, it says, flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a man can commit is outside his body. But he who sins sexually sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God, and you're not your own? And no, I understand that. That's why I said the context of that scripture. You can't pull out a verse and then just say this is what it means. You have to read the context before and after. So which okay. one is right? Which what's, one is what's wrong? Your, what's yeah. your context? What what's your, I have, what's your I, that's why I need to know where it is so I can read the, the stuff she above and below. You can't just pull out of a sentence. Yeah. So this, this is my question right here. I want to know, is it worse to sin to yourself or sin outside the body? It sounds like it, the sin outside the body is like murder. Mm -hmm. Still in those type of things where you're affecting other people, mm -hmm. right? Is that worse than just going out and getting it? And you there know, are, <laughs> those sins are uh, above any other sin. She said that. Earlier. Okay, but he's making a, a delineation here. When you sin sexually, you're hurting yourself. Basically, what he's so saying. I think we need to hash out what sinning sexually and that's is. why i was saying read the you verse above saying? and below and then you have a context of exactly what they used to say. Speaking of. Is it in the scripture somewhere uh, that oral sex? Is a no, I've never heard. Eating cheese. I've never heard. That's not. That is inaccurate. That's not. No, that's inaccurate. Because if you study the Song of Solomon, he gets very explicit in the Song of Solomon. He talk about yeah, he eating and everything else in there. Scriptures. We need a Bible up in here. I was gonna say we actually, but we got, we all got cell phones. We all have Bibles. So. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so this is a lot to take in, Marcus. I need you for talk this. Talk to him. Talk to him. I'm here. So with this type of situation, and it's not a situation. It's a, it's just this a is a lifestyle. Just like you got a lifestyle. What about children? What about you have children? kids with each one? I don't personally have kids. I'm not even sure if I want kids. I really enjoy what driving. Do your, how many people do you have? How many? Oh. Uh, um, what does that mean? What does that mean? 
I, 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 I don't know. So you have your that. husband. I do have my husband. And then you have boyfriends. Um, that's a really hard, difficult question. I have multiple relationships. You don't title them. No, sometimes I do, but right now I just have, I have multiple. They all have their own. I have They're relationships with multiple people. Exactly. I have, multiple, I have different relationships that have different meanings. And so. they all know about each other. Yes, they all or know about each other. Or they know that you're in, in yes. this type of relationship. So for men, we're player. That's, that's, what that's what they say when you hear those type of conversations. Oh, man, he's but clever. if he's cool. she's doing it, what do they call it? Hey, you know what I'm talking about? You're going to say it. Don't tell you what it is, man. Don't so know. they say if a woman is like that, then she is. Uh, if a woman, uh, like, yeah. woman is like what? A 304. And what did a woman is like, Remember how you just like 304 in your phone and then you can flip it upside oh. down? <laughs> and but you I mean, like, if you're not having sex with them, why would I can't go on multiple dates with people? I can't, like, I mean. So how do you determine who you do and don't have sex with? How do you determine who you do and don't have sex with? The thing is, in life right now, when you're dating people, at some point in time, no, during the date or because, after the date, that's the because no, that is because women <laughs> do not know how to. Be, and that's remember, remember I was talking about. Remember I was talking about why women do it better. You saved me. Remember I was talking about women do it better. We don't have that. I don't have that problem. I can date somebody for nine months and they never get to touch me at you all. Yeah, get out of here. I'm so serious. <laughs> and they never get to touch me at all. No, I'm so serious. Guys, nowadays, we got no, social no. media, Instagram, a couple friends, likes on no, Instagram. No, I have no, friends. You might get the cucumber you. emoji in your, that's in your not, inbox. But that's, you know but that's, that's who you're talking to. I don't carry myself like that. I don't allow people to approach me like that. And I don't tolerate this. I don't have that problem. I got you. But in nine months, in nine months, not if you date somebody in nine months, a guy's not pulling... No, because you're getting my attention. You you have my attention. I'm I'm in your presence. I don't. That's I don't, enough. I, that is enough. And you'll be happy with that because like, no, 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 no foreplay. Is that, no, no, feeling no, of but, the, but, but I don't do the same thing. Foreplay is that, is, do. that, is that okay? Foreplay. I'm not saying anything's okay or not okay. I'm just saying, I'm saying we're talking about person. you. We ain't talking about for okay. me. It yeah. depends on the person. If I don't feel comfortable with you, I don't feel like I have that type of relationship with you. Then it's not going to happen. But but like I was saying, I'm not the same type of person. So instead of somebody that you might be talking to on Instagram or you're on social media, you know I'm never on social media. I'm always in a different country. I'm always traveling. So, so if you really got mad if you and Tobago chilling. Are you really mad that I'm not doing anything? We travel the world. No, I'm mad. I'm upset. I don't even want to make it. Then you can stay in the middle, and that's fine. And we would, 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 and we would,